Hello and welcome. I'm Pratik and in this first video of content-based recommendation system, I'll be creating a model using binary feature matrix. It is the most basic type of content-based recommendation system. We are only going to consider genre column in order to calculate similarity between the movies. In the follow-up videos, we will try to build much better and complex models and probably use more data to get better recommendation system. So without any delay, let's get into the coding part. So the first thing first, I need to import my data set and instead of just, you know, uh, storing the data in the files here locally, um, I have kept it in my Google Drive. So the first step is basically connect my collab to the Google Drive. Uh, before that, I would just like to see the configuration of the notebook. Now this process could consume a lot of RAM. So I will just go ahead and make it a high RAM notebook. Uh, GPU is fine. And it will just initialize and we should be good to go. Okay. All right now first thing first yes i would just give the permission and allow and now i should be able to connect to my google drive so you can confirm that by going here and your google drive should appear here once you're connected to that So it says mounted um, and here it is. So yeah, I can see my Google Drive here. Now I'm just going to paste the URL, uh, basically the link to my data. And uh, right now I'm using 25 million data set, which contains approximately 62,000 movies. So let me import this into the variable called movies. Uh, yeah. Before that, I would want to just import all the required packages for this. So we are not, we don't need a lot of packages for this, just pandas, numpy, and we would be needing cosine similarity, which we are using from sklearn. So we'll import that, and then we will run this code. Now we can have a look at the movies data set, and this is how it looks like. So there are 62,422 rows. Um, each movie ha has a movie ID and title and genre. That's it. We don't have any other data about these movies. And we are just going to use the genre column in this to calculate the similarity between the movies. It's definitely not going to give us the best kind of recommendation system, but uh, well, it's the most basic recommendation system. So once we have imported um, the file, next thing I would like to do is create a genre matrix. Now this is a binary matrix, which I am binary feature matrix, which I'm trying to create. This is used to represent the genre information of the movies in a numerical form that can be used as input for recommendation system. So. I would be using the pandas function get dummies here. Oops, not bad. Uh, get dummies to do movies. I genre. And I'm going to split this. So as you can see right now, the genre, all these genres are separated by um, this. So I will be splitting it. And I'll be using stack function and sum function. Oh. 
So the idea behind Yeah, so I, the idea behind this is to represent each movie with a set of binary feature that indicates whether the movie belongs to a certain genre or not. This allows the system to compare movies based on their genre similarity. So rather than other attributes like directors, cast or anything else. So yeah, as you can see now, this movie, I mean, uh, the first movie, it, as you can see here, the Toy Story had adventure, animation, children, comedy and fantasy. So adventure, animation, children, comedy, and fantasy will have one against that and other, all other features are going to be zero. So this is our genre matrix. Now using the genre matrix, we are going to create a similarity map matrix. Now this is, uh, since we have 62,000 movies, uh, this would be computationally expensive uh, work to do. So you can see right now we are not using a lot of RAM here. It's just like 1.6 GB that we are using out of 25.5 GB that is allocated. But this process would probably consume a lot of RAM because all this data frame which is going to be created, uh, 62,000 rows and 62,000 columns will be stored in the RAM. So um, I'm going to use the cosine similarity, oh, sorry cosine similarity and genre matrix yeah and let's see let me just name this similarity um cosine similarity of john genre matrix let me run this so this is definitely going to take some time and uh, this is just one aspect of building recommendation system. There are many other ways to build content based recommendation systems based on different attributes of the movies. Okay, so as you can see it says that the session has been crashed because probably it consumed all the RAM and uh, let me check the setting again okay we have high RAM here it should work fine uh, okay let me run these things again probably we are connected to the database I'll import movie quickly and then I'll create a genre matrix we'll, we'll just try it once more with 25 million data set if it works well that's good if it doesn't work then we'll just move on to the 10 million data set that should probably work with this RAM. And then we'll again try to create similarity matrix. This might take a little while. Okay, your session restarted after a crash. So, well, it seems like, uh, hmm, seems like I'll have to use 10 million data set here. So I have that saved in my Google Drive as well. So now, okay, my bad. Let me just import pandas and then run this. This should be quicker now. And so this one has around 10,679 movies. That's not a lot. And that should not be computationally very expensive. So the genre has been created, the genre matrix, binary matrix basically. Now we will create the similarity. So yeah, this is what the similarity matrix looks like so uh, what is basically happening here is uh, let me try to show that to you so basically we have different type of movies here uh, we have movie one movie two movie three movie four and so on till movie 10680 and in the row as well we have movie one movie two movie three movie 4 and so on now it's this matrix is basically the similarity score between movie 1 and all these movies so movie 1 and movie 1 they are basically the same thing so similarity score here would be 1 uh, movie 1 movie 2 uh, so as you can see it says 0 here so 
it they don't have any kind of similarity so it's zero uh, it could be 0 0.7 it could be 0 0.3 and so on so this similarity score cosine similarity score is going to vary between cosine similarity score is going to vary between minus one to plus one um, and it's not that we can only use cosine similarity there are different type of other matrix that we can use uh, we can use distance as well we can use i think it's checkered similarity uh, and there are other other ways as well it's just that cosine similarity is used mostly so for this particular example i'm using cosine similarity but you can change this according to your data set according to your problem so um so yeah now we have the similarity the next so this thing is created now next we just have to uh, create a recommendation function which is going to so you input a movie it finds that movie from the data set compares that movie id with all these movie id which is there and return you the top five uh, movies which are similar to that one so i already have this function made I'm just going to copy and paste it here. So this is what I'm calling my function, get recommendation. Uh, for now, I'm outputting five values which are similar. And this is the movie which you I want to search for. Um, and then it's, it's just going to go uh, look in the similarity score, find the movie which is most similar and return me the movie. So I'll run this code. And next, I am just going to ask the user to input what movie he or she likes. And then I'm going to print the top five similar movies. So I'll run this. Uh, the movie I personally like is The Prestige from 2006. So this is how it is written in our database. The Prestige from 2006 and enter oops um, I think I wrote the movie name in the wrong way so let me try this once more uh, let me try hmm yeah so you need to make sure that you know the movie title that you're writing exactly matches with your uh, the title which is mentioned over here or you can use some you know uh, similar function like uh, function uh, so that it takes care of you know if uh, the movie which is the most similar to this one so here I wrote the prestige and it gave me five recommendations now so there is no way of measuring you know how well your model is performing for a content based model the only option is you can um, you can see on your own if it's it's good recommendation or not and I see 39 steps I'm not even sure what this movie is blue velvet um, 8 mm six cents well I don't think these movies are very relevant um, to what I mentioned here but just to confirm you know I can go on IMDB I can write the movie search for that specific movie and then more like this so I'm using this uh, just to confirm that you know IMDB data just to confirm uh, my recommendation if that is giving me good recommendation or not so here you can see movies like Inception, Memento, Departed, Seven etc so uh, definitely the recommendation that I have got is not that good um, but in the next videos coming videos we are going to use instead of just creating a basic uh, you know binary feature matrix we are going to use bag of words we are going to use tfidf and uh, then finally we are going to add some more data to this data set rather than just using using the genre column we are going to add uh, the tags uh, so movie lens data has two other columns um, i think you call it um, mm -mm -mm. i'm not sure about the name of that th those files but uh, let me just have a look uh, yeah I think you call that 
genome tag or something so they have basically tags for all these movies you know uh, from different users and uh, in the final video, you know, for content-based recommendation system, what we are going to do is we are going to combine genre and we are going to combine all those tags for these movies together uh, to build a recommendation system. And probably we'll use bag of words or TF idea for the vectorization part, and then finally calculate the similarity score. And that one, I tried that personally, and that one was giving much better results compared to this one. So that will be all for this video. In the next video, we'll try vectorizing the data using bag of words and TFIDF method and try to improve our model by adding more data like genome tags for the movies. Till then, happy learning.